Hello and welcome to another episode of Valheim in 30 Minutes with Cody. I am Cody. We're just going to log on in and see where the heck I left off last time. If you do want to play this map, the seed is Valheim 30, all uppercase Valheim. I think it's always nice to name the seed after whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever the name of your server is, your main character, whatever you have in mind, just something creative. I haven't looked up other seeds really, but I know they're out there. Some pretty cool stuff people find. With random number generators. Fun topic in and of its own self. RNGs for you. Gamer heads. Alright. Looks like I've got a lot of level 1 leather gear still. But uh, this is good. A little level 3 starter weapons. Nothing bad about that. And I think, yeah, as I was saying, there's a point when you ask, when do I go to Ekthir? When am I ready? And for me, again, I like to get my, my hides all upgraded to whatever max level for this first set of hides I can get. Anything before copper. And uh, I'm remembering now that the last thing I did was find a uh, burial chamber. And I'm wanting to go and now check that out. Go ahead and keep a couple of wooden arrows in case I find something to shoot on the way. But I'm taking these flint head arrows as my weapon of choice to go into the burial chamber. Uh, I want to make some meat to eat. Well, it looks like I already did that. Never mind. I've got that exact ready food. And I believe that's pretty much the deal. Um, knife, shield, bow. So th the worst threat is... Um, I can't really remember the name of it, but it's like a... Kind of a large glowing skeleton. Uh, the ghosts are annoying, but usually not too bad of a deal. But those large ghouls, or whatever they are, they really got some knockback power. I don't exactly like, remember what time of day it was. Uh, looks like it's about middle of the day or morning. One or the other. I could be wrong about that. Let's see. If I can see a little bit more, get a little bit better view, and start heading that way. I know that it was mostly this way. I'm not going to grab berries on this direction. I'm pretty much going to keep my bags empty if I can help it. If I don't see anything too exciting, uh, that way I got plenty of space to grab up all the stuff over there. That includes you too, bird. You're tempting me, but I'm not going to shoot it. So the fact that I brought those wooden arrows, a little bit of a waste. We'll see what I got on the way back. So yeah, this is um, early morning enough for trash like you and me to quote Gummo. And I know where I'm going. Up and to the right. I believe, yeah, staying on this stretch of land, not crossing the river. I'll check my map in again in a second. Don't need to engage you right now. I'm just passing by. The oak tree was one of my landscapes I remember now. No. Mm -mm. I don't want whatever you're selling. You're going to come over here and get killed by skeletons. I'm warning you. Wait, who are you? Okay. Sometimes I'm a little confused. Their tusks just look bigger than others. Alright, I see the little dot on my screen. So I know I'm close. Alright, here we go. Burial chamber time, folks. Black forest. Come on. It's 
see how accurate my map was. If I remember right, I took the snapshot from inside, which means it'll be a little off. There's a skeleton, though. That's a good sign that I'm on the right path. Kind of lost it. Where are we? <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh, wait, there we are. Okay. Found it. Sneaky little guy. Yep, see we got skeletons there. Let's get ready to battle. See how blind block is. Okay, not bad. Level one blocker. Over here, y'all, look out. Yeah, this is like, people say bring a torch maybe. I'm like, bring a shield. How about that? There's lights in here. There's glowing mushrooms. Look at that. First certain core of the game. We're on to something now. We can smelt metals, we can make charcoal. And um, most of all, the most cool part, we can make portals. All right, I go through the... All right, yep. There we go, get that bone pile out first. Could have probably been a little more conservative here, but Anyway, I started blasting. All right. Now, ruby's another thing, like amber. Kind of pointless. One thing I know you can do with a ruby is make a pretty sparkly chest. But it doesn't really add anything unless you... I, I don't know if it adds comfort, but usually by that time, it doesn't add comfort to whatever else I've uh, put in myself. All right, so far, one core. Much good. What I need is at least four so I can uh, get back and forth with a portal from one place and the other. Alright. I'm able to keep one of them at bay. Not take real in any real damage there. Alright, alright, alright. More stuff that I don't quite need. The gold is nice, though. And, of course, the feathers are good. Alright, so there's another thing. There's going to be a dude around the corner, most assuredly. But I'm going to go on in there and just try to... Oh, yeah, that guy. So this is the one. The rancid remains. He can mess you up. Alright, I'm getting out of there because he is, in fact, messing me the heck up. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Let's uh, not die yet. And hopefully he's the only one in there for us to face. Let's kind of... Okay, that's not good. I don't think they're engaging me. So I'm just going to stay crouched here and hope they don't see me. Because I don't want to deal with either of these. Someone's fighting something. Okay, good. Oh, they got me. I'm going back in here. Alright, so I think that I'm safe to crouch here. I could start a fire if I brought a couple of things, but I didn't. So what is life's like in the early rounds? I like it. I like kind of like that you actually have to apply a little strategy. So what I'd rather do is take out that guy with my arrow. If I can get him. Okay. Got one buddy. There you go. You don't know how to open doors, do you? Dumbass. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, little strategy never hurts, you know. Let him run away. Can see he's angry. 
just chipping away at him. Um, inevitably, this is one of the ways I often die early, is by forgetting what's up with these things. So he's still pissed. He's just striking that door. He might break it. It's kind of interesting. I don't actually know. Can they, can they break these doors? They probably can. All right, he's calming down. And he's running back down the hall. Just like Jim Morrison did in that famous song where he sings about having sex with his mom and killing his father. He walked on down the hall. All right, so now the good news is I've also got him on creep mode. Let's see if I can see what's up. And another skeleton, of course. Now, one thing I can do, I think, is... There we go. Look at him. Boom! Gotcha, buddy. Didn't I? Didn't I get you? Oh, Not a good aim, are we? Alright, and... Shaboom, baby! Alright, so not too bad. If you take your time, you just chill out. And definitely gonna have enough bone fragments to do that upgrade I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Come on. There you go. A little parry block. Could have done a better job of that, even. You know, you can always do a better job of anything. The problem with these, if you let them go long enough, they'll start letting out two stars and all that. So I wanted to get in there and take care of it, even though I took a little damage in the process. Again, they can't open doors. Use that to your advantage. I think to me, yeah, the whole appeal of this game is how many different ways you can play and what you can do to your advantage. Sneaking is a big part of it, especially with this knife. If you can sneak up on something and stab it with your knife, well, it's going to do a lot more damage than any other thing you could do. Let's let him calm down. There they go. Now, I've already taken out the nest. So if I creep up on these dudes one at a time, he went left. Funny. Just meandering. Ah. Have at me. Alright, so there we go. And this will be a location of the Elder. First location I've got. Wow, it's a little bit of a hike, y'all. Alright. But there's plenty of burial chambers remaining. Plenty of options. And once again, another thing. A pearl? No clue what to do with this yet. Alright, look at that. We have now got enough core that we can warp ourselves one way or the other. Now, thing is, not yet. First, we gotta get fine wood, and to get fine wood, we either gotta find trees to knock into trees, to knock trees down and get things out of trees, or we gotta build one of those axes. So, essentially now, I've got the bones, I believe, to upgrade a few things, um, probably not all of them. I think I need exactly 15 bones to get everything up to level two, which I, if I remember right, is the max I'm going to be able to do on this leather with the bench I've got now until I upgrade that, which I'm going to need 10 bronze or copper for. All right, so let's get for now the hell out of dodge while the getting's good. I believe it's almost dark. I can't tell with the fog, but we've been in there for a little while. 
So either it's already dark or it's almost dark, and I don't want to be in the Black Forest for that just yet. Dealing with mage dwarfs. It's two star skeletons running around willy-nilly. Not really looking for that right now. Alright, so like I said, on the way back, I can take out things as long as I got bag room. It looks like I do have a little. Would rather not. Would rather be walking out of here with so many core. Alright, you're off. I'm trying to get your friend. There we go. Heading home after robbing things from a burial chamber. I kind of feel like I'm probably someone from the UK. We take things from other lands wherever we will find them. We especially like creeping around other people's graves. Because we're creepy British people. And we like to creep around. If you're not careful, we'll colonize your nation and creep on through your town. Uh, that's what we did for hundreds of years, and we kind of sort of still do. And if you don't believe me, look what's going on in Peru. Do, do, do. Oh shit, you feel cold. Oh, I'm, look at this. I'm cold. I'm not rested. I've been spending so much time in a burial chamber, I forgot to spend time with me. Well, this stage, all I got to say is you're just going to have to run, 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 run. <sighs> Take a drag or two. Or three. Or four. Or five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Or now, you run, 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 run. To Fifth Avenue. You know, I'll tell you what you do. I'm going to flatten this ground at some point so it's a more obvious path home. But meanwhile, look at all these berries on the path home. And that was a full day right there, you know? Full day. <laughs> For a moment there, I was going to go home and sleep with the pigs. Did I hear Hugin out there probably trying to update me on all these cool things I found, like Sertlin cores? Probably. Gold. Put this in the don't need it anytime soon tray. As well as that. Oh, actually, oh, no, yeah. See, I'm still short of bone. And I'm, you know stick it to my guns. I'm going to get all these things leveled up before I go after Ethkir. I mean, at this point, I kind of know how to dance with that fella. So, uh, in any case, it's not going to be a disaster unless I go at the wrong time or get some other random set of occurrences that just don't do me any good. Did some sorting issues last night. I'm uh, doing those today. I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit more organization and watch, watch as I frustratingly look at that land right there each time. <sighs> okay. Now, uh, yeah, this is a hard substance. It's a core after all. And again, running out of food area and just kind of resisting the temptation to upgrade stuff just yet. While I still have a little bit of space, still consistent with the uh, signs, considering those things trophies since they're useless, but pretty. Definitely had worse experiences my first time into the burial chambers, um, so this went pretty well, I'd say. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to take care of all of the various tasks I can before nighttime. 
And you know how many times I have crafted when I've meant to upgrade. Uh, very common look thing to look out for. And also I'm going to need a little more uh, leather hide. Am I not mistaken? Alright, so pants and helmet. So basically I usually do chest, legs, head. Um, in terms of upgrade. And some may think I should just do head first. But uh, it's not a head first kind of game when you think about it. You know? whatever that means so you know look I've got everything upgraded to armor 4 except for uh, deer hide cape which I believe when I upgrade doesn't even get that high do I even does it tell you I'm always kinda, what's gonna happen when this goes up more that the armor 2 so yeah, I'd get one more armor if I found one more bone fragment great uh, and uh, while I said I'll stick to my guns uh, I'm not a purist so guess what folks it is eek theater time uh, right here, right now, in this episode, uh, after these messages. I mean, nap. I say that at the same time, I'm not sure I can get to eat there without boating first. So that's probably the first question. All right. <laughs> I've cut at about where I think my video stopped last time. Um, I was running Adobe Premiere outputting one of these episodes in the background and also using OBS at a very kind of high enough resolution frame rate and megabit per second bit rate to maximize out pretty much all the drive's resources on its own. And I'm going to one drive with both of these systems, Premiere and OBS. I play off of an SSD, but I do my video editing on a large spinny drive. Um, mainly because it's large. So, anyway, we're picking up from where I left off, and now I've wasted about 40 seconds, but I'm going to take out ETH Keir, focus on it, and uh, we'll see how it works. So you can see I've got my copy here as well. That is... Uh, from where I actually defeated ETH Gear already. But I'm backing up what I think is nine minutes from the auto saves that happen online. Copied it all locally. Copied my local one, as you just saw, to a new name. So if I mess this up, I can always pick up from where I defeated ETH Gear. But I figured it'd be kind of like the lost 30 minutes of other playtime. If I'm, my attempt is to archive most, if not hopefully all, of my adventure. I need to have these things happening. So I've got all this stuff. My Sertland cores are in my barrel. I think it just became daytime. Um, so this is, yeah, pretty much picking up right where I left off. On my uh, about to go kill ETH queer quest. <coughs> I don't know what that sounded like, but it should have been ETH gear. Okay, um, there we go. So now let's see how quickly I can take care of this little task. Go ahead and eat some honey. And head directly this way. <laughs> All right, no big deal. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, a, a good place for it to save. I don't know if that's what it would normally do, is save on sleep. Uh, but if so, that's great. I would not play an entire 30 minutes of that lost period. Uh, I made that decision already and passed by it, but... The final boss of the final episode of the first season? Gotta go back and replay that. If anyone's watching, they'd be dissatisfied if they were me. Alright, I think I can do this quicker. I've learned a couple of things already. I can block this thing just fine. Uh, everything seems okay for me to easily take on ETH gear. Alright, hey, uh, I'm busy here. Uh, 
All right. Last time it came into a tree. This time it looks like it's going to be here. Strike, strike, block. Strike, 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 strike. Walk, block. Trying to parry, I can't parry anyway. Might as well just prepare my blocks. So you see less than a point of damage on me from these hits. I'm getting up to 16 damage on my slices. Here comes a add. I'm gonna just keep chipping away at Eve Cure here. Yeah, he got me. Oh, come on, Morads. What are you guys coming from? I'm going to back up a little bit because this is annoying. Let's get him out here. I don't want any more of these dudes. All right. You're eating into my time. I'm going to go overtime if I have to. All right. Stay on it. Yeah, I got out here in the open field to keep those gray dwarfs from spawning on me. That was super annoying. So I can just focus on Eeth Kier. Come back. I'm gonna run after you. Not really doing much damage to me because I upgraded yada yada. And that's pretty much true for most of the bosses. It's not that that's a bad thing. First time you encounter them, if you're not prepared, it's a much bigger deal. But yeah, I've defeated almost all. The only one I haven't defeated yet is the queen. And that's it. This time, because I don't even know how much time I've got, I'm just going to get myself back to the base and put this up. And uh, then I'll stop there. Last time I stopped on my way running back home. Only to find that I didn't get the recording. Because of the overlap on the drive of Adobe Premiere dumping while OBS is recording. I hope. Seems like a reasonable enough explanation for me. I'll accept it. Now let's go hang this thing up. Because if I'm right, I think I had about nine minutes of game time from where I just loaded to defeating Eeth Gear. The video stopped with five minutes left. I was running on the way, so... We will see what the sum is, but if it's a little over 30, Apologize, but I hope it was worth it to see the boss get defeated and to see the trophy hung at the end here, which will mark the end of season one. 30 minute Valheim with Cody. Massive Bones, Elder, Deer Skull. There we go, folks. I've found the map to the Elder already from the Burial Chamber. And uh, let's see how long we can uh, grind up to <laughs> Elder for Chapter 2.
Goodbye.